Yeah, that's right. I have cringe addictions of which this world will never know about. Until now. I was sitting here, you know, having a great day. And now I'm having a bad day. Because I was just scrolling through this pit hole of a planet that is called YouTube. And I get recommended, my dog got me pregnant. I'm not kidding. This is a genuine recommendation that I got. It's an animation. And, um, I guess we are going to see what is going on. This is another dumb animation channel, and I'm here to expose it and just see what's going on. So, uh, let's get into it. But before we do, make sure to subscribe. I'm trying to hit 400. Thanks. I come from a pretty oh big God. family, okay, where Riley. growing up meant standing outside the bathroom in a line to wait your turn. I was always surrounded by people. Okay. Not that I didn't love my family, but it was uh -huh. suffocating at times. The moment I was old enough and had saved enough money to afford my own place, I moved out of my family home to start my own life. See, what's sad about all these cartoon things that get super weird is they always start out super normal like this. <sighs> Just wait. But before I go on, make sure you subscribe and- No, I will not do that. And in fact, I will write down your personal information and give it to the goddamn FBI. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any more awesome videos. Oh, awesome. That's a pretty big word to be using loosely here. Now, I don't regret that decision, not even a little bit, but I grew up oh, surrounded okay. by people. I, I, I didn't know what decision she was talking about. I forgot we didn't get quite- into it like the dog did here. The sudden silence and lack of people was startling and almost unsettling. Mm. I found myself lonely for the first time in my life, and I- <laughs> It's so stupid. <laughs> it's so stupid. I can't- I can't help but laugh. Like, I- I don't know what's coming. I'm scared. I realized I missed the company of someone with me. <laughs> I was alone in my own home. I was young, uh -huh. and frankly, I was a bit afraid. I figured the best way to counteract this problem without having to find a roommate. By getting a pet and not doing weird things. It's so gross. Stop. Was to consider <laughs> adopting a pet. Okay. I knew dogs were great for protecting your home and showing unconditional love, so I decided to adopt a dog. I wound uh, up finding a wonderful border collie at a local shelter, and I knew I just... That poor dog. That poor, poor dog, man. Had to have him. Now, my dog is by no means destructive or aggressive, but it's obvious that he had never had any training in his life. <sighs> Apparently it was destructive in some ways. I'm just saying that, that disgustingly because it's awful. I'm he liked scared. to chew my things I... instead of his toys. He marked the walls of my house by peeing on them, and he just flat out didn't listen to me. Yeah, you shouldn't have a dog. I mean, I'm pretty sure we could all tell that by clicking on the video. But right off the bat, I would already say if you can't take care of it or, you know, train it or anything, don't get a dog. I was beyond frustrated until my friend Emily found a solution for me. She told me she had seen an advertisement for a dog trainer the other day and uh, promised to give him a call. The next day, she returned to my home with- Why does that look like me? Why in the fuck does that look like me but skinny? You can't tell me you don't see that. I'm getting creeped out. With this tall, sleek man, who she introduced as my new dog trainer, uh -huh. the man shook my hand and told me his name was Jacob, and that he was a self-proclaimed dog whisperer. I never understand that. I never understand people who say they whisper, because, uh, you don't. I am willing to bet that, because it's kind of like you sit there and you're like, oh, I can talk to dogs, really? What do they say? And then the dog's like, oh, oof! And he's like, oh, he said he loves you. What? The, the, what? He was pretty cute and quite charismatic, but I was skeptical uh -huh. that anyone could rein in this enthusiastic collie. Turns yeah. out, Jacob was borderline magical and proved to be quite the competent trainer. My dog oh. stood no chance disobeying him, and he eventually started to bend to his will. Jacob taught my dog so many things, how to sit, wow. how to lie down and heal. Sh you couldn't do that? I mean, don't get me wrong, I know a lot of people use that, and fair enough, because if you're not going to train a dog yourself, it's good to go to a different source that knows how to do it. There's just some bonding about training your own dog and getting it, you know, trained, yeah. That's, there's just some about it, so, I don't know, I guess that's just me, whatever. Shake hands, the whole trick package. Not mm -hmm. only that, 
but he even conditioned my dog to do his business in specific corners in my yard. That Why specific corners? Oh, that made cleanup so much easier. And I no longer stepped in unseen dog crap with my shoes, which was a- You just watch where you're walking? That, that's all you do? What is, the, what is the problem with that? Definite bonus. He even brought my dog inside after a couple of weeks and started teaching him how to open doors. I was doubtful that this dog- What? Nobody does that! Who does that? No one does that! ...could accomplish such a feat, but boy was I surprised. This man could get dogs to open doors, and it was absolutely astonishing to see him work. There's no I way. often found There's myself no observing way. him while he worked, watching his stiff and precise hand movements and listening to the strictness oh, in his voice. Go. I don't- Oh, wait. I, I see where this is going. I see where it's going. It's clickbait, I'm pretty sure. I, I think. I, I think I see it. I don't think I ever stood a chance not falling for this guy. Yeah. He was definitely easy on the eyes, and he could go from sweet and charismatic to firm and dominant in less than uh, a second. Who the fuck signs up for this stuff? Like genuinely, how did you even get voice actors? Please tell me they're in like a friend group because there's no way that this person paid someone to be like, hey, you wanna you wanna be in this uh, voiceover video where uh, you talk about how your dog got you pregnant? I'll pay you 50 bucks, 50 bucks, 50 clams right now. I'm going to give you $50 right now for you to talk about how your dog got you pregnant. That's it, that's it. I had a serious crush on this guy by this point. Uh -huh. There was only one problem with the whole situation. Was that? Whenever Jacob showed up to do his dog training, Emily would more often than not be right behind him. It was hard to get a private moment just to talk with him or even ask a question oh. with her always looming over my shoulder. Ooh, Emily sliding in. You have no chance. Emily is a great friend, don't get me wrong. But she was seriously blocking me by showing up all the time when he was here. Yep. She even had the audacity one day to ask him to train her own dog while he was busy helping mine. <laughs> that bitch! I, I mean, I can't believe it. This dog trainer came over to train my dog, and she was like, You can train my dog anytime. What a... What? Oh my god. You lucky I would have given her a knuckle sandwich. I would have... I would have told her what's up. That's what I would have done. Absolutely unbelievable that she goes up to a dog trainer and asks them to train her dog. How dare, how dare she? Like, excuse me? You come into my house and take my trainer? I was furious when she embraced him and my thanked him for trainer. agreeing. Okay. I was close to just kicking uh -huh. her out of my house, <laughs> but I kept my cool and let it go. Uh -huh. He was a great trainer and it isn't like he didn't have other clients anyway. I was just being shrewd yeah. and jealous over nothing. At least, that's what I thought, yeah. until Emily's birthday rolled around. Oh. Emily invited me to her birthday party, which is nothing out of the ordinary. It was a little strange that she also invited Jacob, but I suppose she saw- Why? Are you guys friends at this point? If it's li a literal friendship, what is wrong with that? I don't understand the point of this. Why would you even be- like, concern- eh, whatever. I saw him often enough that it wasn't that weird. I dressed up a little to it's maybe get his attention while I was there, about? and headed to the party. When I got to the party, however, I barely got inside her house when I saw them together. Oh, she was wow. leaning all over him, <laughs> laughing, and she suddenly turned her head and kissed him. Oh, I was stunned. That bitch! I'm pretty hurt to see this. Admittedly, pretty envious oh. of her. Oh. I felt super awkward after that. Well, see, that's what's going on. You look like the Little Mermaid. I mean, who do you expect to pull with that? A polar bear? I mean, Jesus Christ, nobody wants a Little Mermaid. God, what's going on with you, man? And my anxiety skyrocketed the longer I stood in the doorway watching them. <laughs> I was just standing there watching them. I mean, he was... Listen... I'm pretty sure his pants were off. I don't even know at this point, but I was just staring, okay? I don't know for sure, but I swear to God, I was standing there watching them for like two hours. And then they fell asleep, and I was still staring at them, just laying on top of each other. Okay? That's how, that's how jealous I was, okay? Do you get an idea? All right. I wound up simply turning back around and leaving the way I came. Oh, meant... wow, like any normal person would, instead of standing there staring at them making out. What a shocker. He paused mid-sentence and grabbed me by my huh? shoulders, gently pushing me away. I could see by his expression he was a bit surprised, if not frightened. 
he looked away and asked if he was done for the day so he could leave. Oh. Then he excused himself. I felt like an idiot he for misreading like the situation. Pretty sure she kissed him. I, uh, I think I accidentally skipped it, but, uh, yeah, she kissed him. So, uh, yeah. And I wound up just sitting with my dog and spilling my woes to him the rest of the uh -huh. night. I was surprised he showed up again the next day, but I was uh -huh. also glad that he did. I sat him down and decided to apologize and talk through my thought process with him. Oh, yeah, he good took idea. it in stride and started talking about himself as well, and I figured an awkward friendship was at least a good consolation prize. Then he suddenly uh -huh. leaned down and kissed me, and my brain just kind of <laughs> short-circuited and stopped processing. I was pleasantly uh, surprised, oh, oh, as I was sure I had destroyed any ah, chance cramp. of a relationship cramp. after my mistake the day before. My front door opened again, uh -huh. and Emily walked through the door, Ooh. as she normally did when Jacob was training oh. my dog. She saw us kissing, and nearly- And she stared! Oh, man, she stared, and she stared! I was getting- Oh, believe me, the pipe was being laid, and I was just in awe. She was staring at me. So weird. Nearly exploded at the sight, beginning to scream at Jacob, Ooh. who stood up and tried to make his way past her. Yeah, they both like went outside really and there. started arguing. Oh. But I didn't feel comfortable eavesdropping on what it was. Yeah, this guy's a hoe. Damn. It was about. Jacob wound up leaving, and Emily uh. came inside and started to argue with me instead. Oh wow! She shouted surprise. at me that they were in a relationship and I shouldn't be messing with him. I started crying and told her I had no idea. My heart oh. crumbling to pieces. She stormed out and slammed my door, and I just sat there with my dog again, feeling sorry for oh, myself. Damn. I managed to pull myself together and call Jacob, request- Wow, you're a shit friend. What a shitty friend. That is the absolutely utmost worst thing that you can do here. Why does his arm look broken? Now we're gonna ignore that. Real talk, that is- that is horrible. Seeing that he not come back over, he seemed surprised and asked me why in which I explained I knew about his and Emily's relationship. Uh -huh. He scoffed and assured me she was just lying about it, and I felt a little hopeful. He came back after I told him Emily was gone and suggested that he take me to dinner to make up for the whole mess. Of course, I agreed I and it. went to change my clothes in my room to something a bit nicer. While I was undressing, uh -huh. though, my dog decided to show his trainer how good he had gotten at his little tricks. So when I closed oh my, my door God. and started changing... My dog Ooh. opened up the door for him. I was just standing there, half nude and looking like a deer in headlights. Bruh. Jacob was staring right back at me. <laughs> the creepy. <laughs> that was the creepiest shit I've ever seen. Looking just as surprised as I was. A few moments of awkward silence passed oh between us God. before Jacob just oh. entered my room without a word. Oh. What happened next, I'm oh. sure you can guess, but I can't exactly explain it in detail. <sighs> Three weeks later, I was feeling crummy and exhausted uh. all the time. I found out I was pregnant and knew I had to tell Jacob. I can't handle this anymore, gamers. I think you get the point by now. That's how her dog got her pregnant. I don't care about what actually happened. It's still gross, in my opinion, because, come on, you know that there's kids on this, and it's not like it's specifically for adults. You know what you're doing. I mean, come on. And, uh, whatever. Anyway, that's about it. Just wanted to talk about this. See ya.